I just found the best free alternative to mid-journey. In my opinion, it's cheaper, better, and is the perfect solution if you're getting tired of spending a ton of money for AI art that doesn't even hit the mark most of the time. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to use this alternative and the different kinds of things you can do with it. Let's get started. Getting set up. The tool I'm talking about is called Recraft AI. The first thing you want to do is head over to their website and click on Get Recraft Free. Then, create an account and fill out some information about how you plan to use Recraft. Now, I can see the different plans. And by the way, this is one of the main things that makes Recraft shine compared to Midjourney. Straight away, you can see that Recraft actually offers you a free plan, which Midjourney doesn't offer at all. Then, they also offer basic, advanced, and pro plans, which are insanely valuable for the price. Even with just the free plan, you can try all the features and you get 50 free credits daily. You get two image options per prompt, too. The basic plan gives you a lot more, and it's only $12 a month. I love how transparent they are about everything, which honestly isn't the same with Midjourney, especially if you're a beginner or new to AI tools. I'm going to go ahead with the free plan for this tutorial to show you how amazing this is, even with the free plan. How to use Recraft AI. Once you're signed up and logged in, you'll land on the workspace. Here's another area where Recraft sets itself apart. Unlike other tools that just throw you a blank canvas and say, good luck, Recraft is designed to guide you, even if you're brand new. The workspace is intuitive and user-friendly. Now, you can use Recraft for a bunch of different things, and they've got specific functions for each purpose. You can see that you can create an image, frame, image set, and even a mock-up. This makes Recraft super versatile and great for people in e-commerce who want product images, editors who want stock footage images, designers wanting unique vector art, and much more. I'll take you through the main feature that compares directly with Midjourney, and that is the image generation. Just click on image, and now you just need to type in a prompt. The rule with all AI tools is that the more specific and detailed your prompt is, the better the results will be. If you're stuck on what to prompt, think about your end goal. You can even use ChatGPT to help you come up with image prompts by telling it what you're trying to create and asking for a detailed prompt that you can use for an AI image generator. Now, if we click on this red panda here in the image prompt box, we'll see a bunch of different styles. The variety is insane and in my opinion, maybe even better than Midjourney. There's photorealism, vector art, studio photo, motion blur, and much, much more. For the sake of this tutorial, let's say I want to create a vector art image that I can use in my design work. I'll just click on apply here on vector art. I can go on colors and I can pick specific colors as well, which is great if you want your images to look branded. Now for the prompt, I'm just going to copy and paste what ChatGPT generated. I can also easily change the dimensions here to match my purpose. So if this is for TikTok, I'll go for 9 to 16. Or I can just go for 1 to 1. Now, I'll just click on Recraft. This literally took 15 seconds to generate, which is a lot quicker than other AI image generators that I've used. Just look at how incredible this is. And they give two image options. Both of these are brilliant. We can also go ahead and fine tune the image and create more variations. Let's do another example using a different style. This time, let's go for photorealism. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the same prompt as earlier. This generated even more quickly than the vector art. And just look at how realistic this looks. That's seriously insane. There's so much you could do with this feature. And I see a lot of potential if you need to generate models for your e-commerce store or if you need realistic stock footage for professional websites and social media posts. Once you're happy with your image, click on the export button up here. You can pick the resolution and also if you want the file in a PNG or JPG format, then the image will be downloaded directly to your device. I have to point out that if you're on a free plan, then Recraft owns the art that you use. But if you upgrade, then your generations are yours not recrafts, 
So if it's important that the generations belong to you for any copyright or legal reasons, make sure that you get one of the paid plans, which are absolutely worth it. How does ReCraft compare with MidJourney? Here are the main differences that I noticed between ReCraft and MidJourney. First, I noticed that text rendering is way better on ReCraft than MidJourney. Let me show you an example. On MidJourney, if I type this prompt in, here's what it generates. Now here's what the same prompt generates in ReCraft. I've noticed with a lot of AI image generators, the text is horrible. It's usually just random letters and characters that make it obvious it's AI. But ReCraft actually renders text super well, even with long sentences. So if there's anything that you want text on, like a YouTube thumbnail or even comic book sketches, you can comfortably create that on ReCraft. Second, as you can probably tell, I think ReCraft is a lot more versatile. There are way more styles that they offer and different use cases. Mid-Journey feels a lot more generalized, which might still get the job done for you. But I feel like it's only good for a select few things. Mid-Journey's speciality is photorealism, and I feel like every other style is a hit or miss. Third, in terms of the user experience and interface, I think ReCraft is a lot easier to use, especially for beginners. When I was a beginner, I was a little put off by having to use Discord to use MidJourney. You don't have to deal with that with ReCraft. It's just a lot more intuitive and user-friendly. Finally, we have to talk about price. I'm a believer that you get what you pay for. And if ReCraft was way worse than MidJourney, then I would say to just open up your wallet and pay for the quality that MidJourney offers. But that's not the case here. I genuinely think ReCraft is a little better than MidJourney, and on top of that, it's more affordable for what you're getting. The fact that ReCraft has a free option that can create the kinds of images I showed you today is insane. So if you're looking for a more affordable, versatile alternative to MidJourney, seriously check ReCraft out. Have you heard of ReCraft before? Will you be giving it a try? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this helpful or interesting, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.